Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is May 29th, 2019. This is my 23rd episode about the future of C++ programming, C++ 2A standard. In this episode, we will learn about class invariant. Van Strostrup, the creator of C++, on his book, The C++ Programming Language Post Edition, on page 56. This book, in the C++ programming language in this book, page 56, Van Strostrup says, what is to be assumed true for a class is called class invariant, or simply invariant. It is the job of a constructor to establish the invariant for its class, so that the member function can rely on it, and for the member function to make sure that the invariant holds when they exit. The notion of invariant is central to the design of classes, and preconditions serve a similar role in the design of functions. Invariance helps us to understand precisely what we want. Invariant forces us to be specific that gives us a better chance of getting our code correct. The notion of invariance underlies C++ notion of resource management, supported by constructor and destructor. On his book, page 484, a constructor's job is to initialize an object of its class. Often, that initialization must establish a class invariant that is something that must hold whenever a member function is called from outside the class. In this episode, I will explain what is class invariant and we will apply class invariant to our custom class design. In our previous episode, episode 21, Move Semantic and Dynamic Array, in this video, I explained how to implement a dynamic array. Also in 22nd video, how to integrate iterators to custom class. In this video, I explained how to integrate iterators to our custom class, dynamic array class. So if you want to follow this episode, you have to watch these two videos. This video and this video. If you are new audience to my YouTube channel, then please visit extension talkplayfun.com website. Click this link to download our source code. And click this link, system environment variable for Microsoft Visual C++ GNU and Clang compiler. Please watch this video carefully and make appropriate system environment variable settings. Otherwise, you probably cannot follow this episode. If download is complete, show in folder. If you unzip the downloaded file, you can find CPP extension folder. In this folder, you can find tutorial subfolder. Copy this CPP extension folder, copy, and face it to your working directory. Then start Visual Studio Code. Go to File, Open Folder. Please open CPP Extension Folder. CPP Extension Folder. Okay. Then in my case, I will open CPP Extension Root Folder. If you open CPP Extension Folder, then you can find Tutorial Folder. Please select this folder. Then click this button, O23 invariant.cpp. I will explain how to apply the notion of class invariant to the design of our dynamic array class. In C and C++, the minimum allocation size is 1 or 1 byte. So when we allocate our dynamic array, we assume the size of the allocation is at least 1 byte or more. This assumption is our class invariant, that is 
we assume at least one element of our dynamic array. Also, we allocate memory at the constructor such that the pointer mptr member should not be null ptr. We apply this strategy to the design of our dynamic class. Open O22 iterator, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, copy all, paste in invariant. Now we close this file iterator cpp. We need to find the constructor. In the constructor, in the constructor, this is the constructor. We don't need to concern about the size. Size is always greater than zero. That's our assumption. assumption. So I will simplify like this. Also in copy constructor, we don't need concern about the size. Size should be always greater than zero. And we simplify like this. Also, we don't need concern about this. So we fix like this. And at the copy assignment, we can remove this part because we always assume size is greater than zero. Here also, we assume size is greater than zero. So we can remove this. And I fixed. Like this. Scroll down. Scroll down. And here in operator, in case of dynamic array, size is always greater than zero. So we can delete this part. We can fix like this. Like this. And start command prompt CLS. In the CPP extension folder, CL, EHSC, STD, C++, C++ 17, O23, invariant, CPP, FE, AEXE, hit enter. A. So our class, dynamic class, works successfully. So our code, our class design became much cleaner and easier to understand. Okay. Also in resize function, we assume count, count is greater than zero. We assume count is greater than zero. So we can modify like this. We can fix like this. Okay. By applying class invariance, we can create a cleaner class and more optimized code. In my next episode, I will explain how to optimize our dynamic class to the extreme. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.